I'm pretty sure you've heard of Google hacking or also known as Google dorking, which I need to say it is extremely, extremely powerful. In about five minutes of time, I was able to find... Yep, just about anything. You're probably thinking of something right now. Yep, it's out there. So how do we approach this Google dorking or Google hacking? Well, let me take you to the dark side of the internet where hackers reside. Now, you may ask, what is Google dorking and how does it actually work? It's simple. Google is a search engine, right? And it does its job perfectly. It gives us the searches we want and the displays what we want. Now, Google also has extra search functions, which makes Google dorking absolutely possible and very, very fun to execute. So what we can do is abuse the Google search engine to give us anything, literally. Our imagination is the limit here. I recently saw a Google dork for finding jobs. Interested? Well, I will show you how to do this. So what you're seeing right now is what I like to call search functions. These are publicly available anywhere, GitHub, Google, anywhere. You can find them very easily. What these dorking functions allow you to do is to put it in the search bar and you can search for anything you really want to, anything. As an example, and see what we can find. And as you can see, we have found a McDonald's admin page. Now, the secret to this is that you can search for literally anything. Ford, BMW, Mercedes, Starbucks, KFC, whatever you want. And Google might display some panels or files that are not supposed to be exposed to the internet. But let's look for something more extreme and secret. How about logs? Now, you will ask, where can you get more information about dorks? Well, welcome to Google Hacking Database. But before we go further, you need to be careful. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Have fun, but don't use this information for illegal purposes or to commit crimes. Now, I know you will ask, is all of this legal? Yes and no. Let me explain for your security and safety. Also, please note that I'm not a lawyer. All of this is legal as long as you don't misuse this information because this information is public and we haven't breached any system or hacked any systems. So it would be hard for anyone to convince us of any crime. So Google dorking becomes illegal if you decide to misuse this information and use it against any company or to hack the company or obviously to sell it. So my best advice is to look, but don't touch. But how about we slow it down a notch and I show you some good uses of Google dorking. For example, we can simply find a bug bounty program or a vulnerability disclosure by simple dorks. Or how about we narrow our searches to Cisco CCNA certification, so it shows all information regarding CCNA. Now, how to look for information on Google Hacking Database? Type in exploit-db.com. Make sure you're in GHDB, so Google Hacking Database, and you're off to the races. You can either look for the information on the website or you can look for a specific term. For example, let's look for cameras. If you're interested in cybersecurity or ethical hacking, there are tutorials waiting for you right on the screen right now. Also, I drop free information on Twitter, so if you're interested, check it out. Link in the description as always. Peace.